Biden talking about this infrared, and you can't see it, we have a camera in the Exploratorium that allows you to see infrared. And Stephanie is now going to take a walk to that camera. I'll leave you in Paul's capable hands for the moment. Okay, here she goes. There she is, and notice she's glowing. Her face is glowing, yeah. and her fingertips are not glowing. The infrared is emitted by warm objects, and her face is really warm. She's putting out a lot of radiation. So, Stephanie, can you hear me? I can hear you, Paul. Hi, how are you doing over there? We're doing fine. So why don't you tell us what we're seeing and what you're doing? Um, so I'm glowing. I'm, I'm putting infrared radiation, just like everything else around here. So what's like infrared radiation? It's heat. I'm, I'm kind of warm. It's pretty comfortable out here in San Francisco. Um, I've also got with me a couple of things which have different amounts of heat. So which one do you think is warm? <laughs> okay, which one is warm? The bright, shiny one we think is warm. The bright, shiny one is definitely the warm one. Yeah. So you can see that things that are hot really do glow What's in the infrared. Ryan? This one, on the other hand, Ryan. is cold. And that just looks really black in the infrared. So since I'm glowing, I'm sort of like, you know, for instance, the Earth or the sun or anything that's putting out infrared. But there are things that block infrared radiation. Um, for instance, I've got here a piece of acrylic. Um, this is sort of playing <laughs> the role of carbon dioxide. Look at how my radiation just doesn't even get through this piece of acrylic plastic. So this is sort of like the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere where the heat from me is going acrylic, um, heating up that acrylic, and that acrylic is then re-radiating that heat. It's sending that heat out in all directions, including back at me. So if I were wrapped in a piece of this acrylic, I'd get pretty warm. And that is going to be the secret to global warming, that the role of the carbon dioxide, it's transparent in the visible, just like this piece of acrylic. You can see me through it. But in the infrared, where Stephanie is holding it, it it's black. It absorbs the infrared. It can't get through. So this acrylic behaves just like that small amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So come on back, Stephanie. All right. See you soon. OK, here she comes back.